Hello everyone, this is Sci Soldier here. Welcome back to our Let's Play Mountain Blade Warband, War Sword Conquest. Uh actually at the last of the uh Well, the last of the last video that we did, we kind of got a message that said that uh we were at risk of being tagged as a deserter from Lord Yori. Uh, which is complete bullshit because we were in his party and he got freaking captured and all. Uh, but apparently he has been released. And now we are in danger of being called a deserter because we haven't gone back to find him. Which is, again, like I said, complete bullshit. So we need to ask some people where he's at, track him down, and then tell him, okay, we want to be dismissed from your service. Alright, my name is Dogger and Firebeard. I wish to ask you something. I wanted to know the location of Lord Yori. Karazakarak. Okay. Where's Karazakarak? Down here. Let's work our way there. I don't suppose we could have been lucky enough that that was going to be him. Alright, let's ask the Hold King here if he knows where he's at. Maybe he's moved. I want to know the location of Lord Yori. Currently at Karazakarak. Okay. So he's still at Kara's Karak. Um. I don't know if that's going to be the faster way to go. Up through there. It might be. Let's try going that way. We might recruit somebody from... Has it I'll do as well. Recruit volunteers. We got six dwarfs. Excellent. Actually, you know what? I think I've leveled up here. Actually, I've leveled up twice. Uh, let's go ahead and bump up our trade skill. Prisoner management. And... We're going to increase our charisma a bit more as well. Right. Hopefully we don't run into any uh, bandits or brigands or anything like up, up here. Speed this along. We have soldiers ready to upgrade, so that's always good. Looks like our dwarfs are upgrading. Actually, we've got a dwarf warrior, and oh, sweet, we have another hammer. What level are these guys? Level 19. Okay, what level are the dwarf warriors? They're level 14. Okay. The reason I'm wondering about that is because I have the training skill. And anybody that's lower level than me actually gets uh, experience every turn. Or every day. But uh, with me being level 7 and then being like level 14... They're not getting anything from me. Alright, hopefully this freaking Lord Yori is still here. Ah, crap. Try to go in the direction that I am telling you to go. Okay, well...
quite a f there he is. There's Lord Yori. Where is where'd he go? There he is. Track this guy down. Alright, Lord Yori, would you please stop? We meet again, Dargrim. My lord, I would like to retire from service. Very well, Dargrim Grimbeard, you are relieved from duty. Alright, we got a thousand experience, so that's good. And our relation with him went up to 21. So, that's all quite awesome. We did, however, lose all of our armor, and we are now naked. So, finding some more clothes and armor would probably be a good thing. Alright, um, let's go ahead and enter the tavern real quick. Nothing interesting going on here, unless there's something upstairs. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there, nothing there. Okay. Let's go to the marketplace. Let's take a look at the armor merchant. I've got 5,000 gold. Huh. <sighs> Did that say Wood Elf Ranger? Why the hell? Dwarven Mel Tunic. That's not half bad. That is indeed not half bad. Think I would like that. Okay. For a lot of these helmets, we need some strength. Uh, what else can we do here? A rusty Dwarven Engineer helmet. That's not a bad helmet either. Let's buy that thing. It looks like shit, but okay. Completely ridiculous looking. Alright, now I need some boots. Um. Can I wear these boots? Nope, I can't. I don't imagine I can wear those either. Ah, uh, can I wear those? I can't wear that either. Why the hell are the dwarves selling a whole bunch of shit that I can't buy? Or that I can't wear, anyways. Ah, uh, that other stuff, we're not going to, yeah, we're not going to buy some of that other stuff. That's a little too expensive for my blood. Hmm. Well, it's a good thing that we bought a new gun, because, well, we had to give up our crossbow. Now I'm running around with no shoes. That right there is what we want, though. A nice seven barrel gun. Accuracy 70, damage 110. You load it one time and you can shoot seven times. Alright. I guess we're going to go ahead and head back on out of here. Let's see if we can recruit somebody in Everpeak. And. Sweet, yes, we can. Got a whopping seven doors there. And we'll recruit somebody down here. Seven more dwarves. Did 
Deserters, a dwarf band. Yeah. Not entirely sure how much uh, I really need armor on my legs when I'm not riding a horse. Because most of the people that are attacking me should not be hitting me on the legs. Alright. We got a whole bunch of doors ready to upgrade. And old Augie Boggy is upgrading as well. Well, can you tell me about your skills? Alright, we want to bump up his pathfinding. Surgery and all that's cool, but pathfinding is king right now. We definitely want to be able to outrun most of the people that we come across. The truce between the Kingdom of Bretonia and the Skaven Underworld have expired. Okay, come on now. Just move through the pass here. We're gonna work on taking out some more villagers. Basically, we've kind of become slavers. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind catching these guys if they'll stop and let me catch up with them. Don't think that's going to happen, though. They are running for their lives. As are these undead. Hey, we've got villagers here. Surrender or die, goblin villagers. All right. Use blunt weapons only. And go ahead and follow me. That way I can take a couple pot shots at these people before they ever get into melee range. Okay, here they come. Damn it. Can't see. Alright, reload. These are goblins, aren't they? I thought that the uh, thing over their head was orange, meaning that they were from the Empire, but... They definitely don't look human. Alright, go ahead and charge. I guess we'll switch back to third person mode. Well, that was over quickly. Eleven wounded, one killed. And we got five guys upgraded. That's awesome. Fine cabbages, club, and blah blah blah. Man. Would have been great if I could have caught up to them. Don't guess we can catch these guys either. Man, that spotting skill I got seems to be working pretty well. Well, the spotting skill that old Mephelin there has. Alright, more miners. That's awesome. Okay. Let's go ahead and visit the tavern. We'll auction off these uh, little goblin villagers that we've got. And, hey, hey, wait a second. We have a Mexi. Great to see you, Traveler. 
why not join me for a choice brew? And don't mind if I do. My name is Memexi. I am a skink healer from the village of Sagara. I am knowledgeable in all the plant life of these lands and their healing properties. Being a healer is all I have ever wanted to do, but my family have sent me out to the world to teach me the world's dangers and make me more serious, apparently. According to them, I am too jovial and upbeat, and it is because of I am ignorant of what the world is like, so they sent me on an enlightening mission. I have seen some scary stuff, but nothing to get me down yet. If you're an adventurer, i sure I could lead a... You could lead me into some real scary experiences. Well, if you want to see uh, the true nature of the world, then my party is the place to be. Yes, this is just the opportunity I need. Tell your troops they can trust my knowledge and my methods. Admittedly, I'm not a good fighter, but I'm sure some of your men will teach me. Oh, we are all on the same team after all, right? Yes, we leave soon, Mimexi, so be ready. Uh, before we go, can I have a hundred gold to send to my family? I'm sure they will need it now that I'm not there to work for them. Alright, here's your hundred gold. Alright, so we have two doctors. Of course, Mimexi's not really going to be a doctor. We're going to make him, like, something else. Something else that needs intelligence. And... Yeah, okay. Just checking stuff out there. Alright, we have more villagers. Holy crap, we've got a whole bunch of villagers. Charge the enemy! All right, follow me. Use blunt weapons only. Okay, they should be coming up here before too long. Where are they at? Here they come. Alright. Please tell me I can shoot somebody here. Nope. Excellent. Alright, go ahead and charge. I guess we'll switch back into third person so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, this is going to be over quickly. Oops. <laughs> I was about to hit Augie Buggy there. Alright, we're victorious. And we've captured 11 orcs. We've got a couple miners upgraded. And we got some crap. Surrender or tie. All right, charge the enemy. Well, this has been a rather profitable little uh, few minutes here. Use blunt weapons only. We're leveling some people up and getting quite a few prisoners. Alright, where the hell are they? Alright. Let me get another shot off here, please. Alright, come on. I got you, sir. Thank you. Come again. The hell? What is that noise? Sound like a freaking dragon. I think that was Mimexi. <laughs> A minute. 
And the Mexi growls like a freaking dragon. Yes, that is Mamexi. I don't think a sound like that should come out of a small creature like that. Alright, capturing some more. We're gonna have a full load of prisoners when we head back into town here. Alright, that's good enough. Got yet 15 more villagers. Charge the enemy. Um, follow me. And go ahead and use blunt weapons only. Momentarily here, I should see someone. Alright, where are these people at? There they are. Come on. Don't have a whole bunch of chance to hit them from that range, but... Cool thing is, if you do... You, uh, get a pretty decent amount of, uh, skill increase. Go. All right, come on now. Take him out, please. Damn it. I guess I'm going to have to shoot this guy if we have any chance to. Take him out. Nope. Not gonna happen. Holy crap, man. Augie Buggy's like taking some people out here. Yeah. Didn't have much chance in hell of actually hitting that guy from that range. And we got a lot more villagers. And we have more doors to upgrade. Things are looking good. I have even leveled up. Okay. We're going to go back into Nuln here. Enter the tavern. Tavern keeper, I have prisoners to sell. Give me lots of gold. Excellent. Alright. Let's go to the marketplace. We'll sell off our junk. Keep the bag of grain, I guess. And actually, we'll keep the dried meat, too. Alright, that'll do it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and end this video here, too. So, as always, if you enjoy our videos, I hope you'll like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much.